you could just introduce yourself and uh, let us know who you would like to ask. Hey. Hi. Uh, this is a, uh, my name is Jan, and this is a, a general question for the panel. Uh, but what are your thoughts on audience participation in the creation of content and how that will affect cinemas? Can you define audience participation? Sure. Uh, the creation of content, uh, whether that's, uh, let, let's say, feature film content, et cetera, with the audience actually participating in uh, creatively, whether that's in the pre-production process or the production process, potentially even as cast. Oh, OK. Anyone want to take that's sort of interactive, Matthew? Do you want to jump into that one? Yeah, I mean, the, the, so we tried something at Amazon, which was to do public pilot testing for our TV shows. And, and there was a big challenge with the fact of there is a disconnect between how quickly you learn whether something works, which is your opening weekend or your premiere, and how deep in the investment process you have to be to get there, right? You've filmed an entire television series. You've done post-production, localization, subtitling, and that's when you get it. And I think everyone's trying to figure out how do you build the audience in earlier there's a real burden to that because it slows down production. Trying to interpret what people say they like and what they do like is different. I call it Nickelback's law. <laughs> uh, Nickelback, Nickelback was the best-selling band of the 2000s, yeah. the best-selling band, and yet people not only don't claim to like them, but they go out of their way to tell you they hate them. Yeah. And so, I mean, the answer is, yeah, the more you build people in, the better, that builds your audience and so forth. One of Marvel's advantages actually is not just the IP, it's that they've tried to tell different versions of Tony Stark's story for 60 years. They know which worked because audiences said, this sucks, I'm not buying the comic. And they know what works and producer Kevin Feige gets to curate through them. Everyone's trying to find what that looks like. I don't think anyone has a good thesis on how that's working yet, mm. but we'll see. And with filmmakers, I mean, I think part of what audience respond to is that unique vision. It's like Jordan Peele had something to say with Get Out, and he didn't do that with a poll. He didn't do that by consensus. It was like something that was bursting inside him that finally was the culmination of his career, right? That he put it out there, and then it resonated. And so, yeah, I, 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 wonder, I wonder about that. I see more hands. Thank you for your questions. So let, 